Hi, I'm Cammy, and this is Cammy's Closet. Welcome, or welcome back. I'm glad you're with me. And I want to do a really quick video today on something that I got very um, spontaneously. I was not going for it. I was not looking for it. And it just ended up in my, um, in my hands. First, I want to introduce you to my little girl. This is Coco Beans. She's a rescue poodle, and we have her for six years. And she's the sweetest little thing, unless someone comes in the door that she doesn't know. But I just wanted you to say uh, hi to everybody. Beansy, look, look over here. Say hi. Say hi, Mama. Mama girl. OK, you want to go back to your father? OK. Sorry about that. Anyway, how to introduce my baby girl. So. Did you ever go somewhere looking for something else and end up walking out with what you didn't go there looking for? Um, you know, we go to the supermarket and we go in for one item and we come out with 46 items. Um, go into TJ Maxx because you're looking for, you know, whatever, a, a black shirt and you come out with three pair of jeans. Well, I um, was looking for a belt. I told everybody in a previous video that I was looking for a, a navy belt or a blue belt and I had sent the Louis Vuitton belt back because it, it didn't look right. It just didn't look blue to me. So I said, I'm going to go to the Short Hills Mall. So on my vacation, the last day of my vacation, I went to the Short Hills Mall with my husband and I was going there to find a belt. I went into Gucci. I saw a belt that I liked, but you know, you're not, you're not going to buy the first thing you see. So fine, right? Um, I tried it on, I liked it, it fit well, it was, you know, within my budget. And I said, you know, to the SA, I'll, I'll be back, I just want to look around a little bit. No problem, she gave me her card, you know, if I want to order it when I get home, no problem. I go to um, Fendi, I'm looking for a very specific belt that I saw online there that they sent to me, it was way too big. They said they probably won't get it in my size because actually it's a men's belt. So I said, all right, not a big deal. And then I said, um, I just wanted to look around. I went into um, Neiman Marcus, of course, because it's, it's the Short Hills Mall in New Jersey. So you, you have Neiman Marcus there. It's, it's like the Rodeo Drive of New Jersey. So I looked around in Neiman Marcus. I didn't see anything. And then, of course, something catches my eye in Neiman Marcus. Section. I didn't buy anything there. But the section that has... Balenciaga. Now, I bought a Balenciaga mini Neo City bag in gray a while back from uh, TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx carries those bags. They're usually a very good discount. And I purchased it. When you get something from TJ Maxx, it's not the experience you're going to get. I opened a bag. It was crumpled up. It wasn't even covered in plastic. I was really kind of disappointed. Um, and I said, you know, this bag is really, it's kind of small. It looked a little chintzy to me. So I said, forget it, I'm sending it back. And I sent it back and that was like a year ago. I didn't think of another Balenciaga. I don't, I don't feel like their, you know, their resale value isn't great. I like their things, but they're, they're pretty expensive. I went, you know, to the section, Neiman Marcus, they didn't really have anything that I liked. And then I, I walked out and um, I started walking with my husband and I said, you know, there's the Balenciaga store. You know, I can't find the gray bag that I had sent back. And I thought about it, like, kind of like you dreamed about, you know, the, the one that got away. I kept thinking, like, I really like that mini city, you know, neo city classic in gray. I really liked it, but I can't find it anywhere. I always look. I look on Fashion File. That's another story. I look on, you know, I'm always looking, but, you know, Neiman Marcus, um, Saks, Bloomingdale's, uh, Bergdorf Goodman. Never find it in gray, and I just don't want to pay full price because, you know me, I always find a sale. I always go through Rakuten. I made the mistake of going into the Balenciaga store. I made that mistake. I did. It's a mistake. I know it's a mistake, but I made the mistake anyway. So let me show you. Are we up to 
upside down? I don't even know. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. In any case, I'm going to be real quick because I haven't even looked at it other than at the store. She packed it up real nice, put a nice little bow. You know that store experience. You don't get that when you go, you know, when you order online, you don't get that store experience. Um, even if you buy in person at Neiman Marcus, you're not going to get the same experience. Probably won't even get a box with what you buy. So I wanted the store experience. I haven't had it in a while since I bought my last Louis Vuitton bag. And actually, I didn't even have the store experience with that one because I ordered it. My essay sent it to me. So I didn't even buy it in the store. So here was the full blown store experience. She packed it up so nice. Hope to tear it. Here's the dust bag. You ever just buy something on a whim and then when you get home you're like, what'd you do? Well, we always know there are people doing regret videos all the time. Not really regret, just like, oh my God, I can't believe I actually did that. I don't do things like that. I'm, I'm very, you know, I'm budget conscious. Um, very, you know, I, I can't believe I did this, but I did, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Behold my mini Neo City Balenciaga tote in the dark gray with silver hardware. I absolutely love this bag. I love this bag. I absolutely love it. I loved it when I saw it over a year ago when it came from TJ Maxx, but it, it looked all crumpled and I don't know. It, it was such a bad presentation that I got very turned off and I just sent it back. But this, you know, this was in the store and, you know, the salesperson and the security guard and all the pretty lights. Here it is. It's in the dark. I guess it's a dark gray. Like I said, silver hardware, has a crossbody strap, smells so good. The capacity is very small, we know that, but not tiny. This is the strap, nice strap for the shoulder, so it'll be comfortable. The only thing I wasn't crazy about is I don't like the clips they use. That to me looks a little bit cheap. That might have been why I sent the first one back, but I, that's what they use. That's what they use. So it has the strap. Oh, there she goes. And I am going to um, hook this on so you can see a mod shot, but I'm not going to review it. I'm just going to um, put it on so you can see what it looks like. And then, you know, down the road, after I use it a few times, I'll do a full review. But it has some, it has a decent capacity. It has a, a slip, here are all the cards that come with it. It has the, um, the whip stitch on the handle. So pretty. I love this bag, I always loved it. I always loved this bag and I wanted it in gray because I think gray looks great with navy. Gray looks great with black and pretty much it's neutral. It goes with everything. Um, so I always wanted this bag in gray and I wasn't able to find it. I wasn't able to find it on sale anywhere. Um, of course, I looked on Fashion File today and they had it, new it tags for 500 less. So I'm really upset about that because this can't be returned. I never heard of that either, but the girl at the store said, only exchanges, no refunds, which I never heard of in a boutique. Um, and that's why I'm really a little disappointed in myself because I don't, I don't do that. If I knew I couldn't return it, normally I would be like, no, then I'm not going to get it. But I was so desperate to get this colorway with the silver hardware. And I said, I'm never going to see it. So I, I have to just, I have to get it. So anyway, you know, it, it has, um, a decent size where you could get it on your wrist or the crook of your arm. Of course, I'm very petite, so will it fit someone who has larger forearms? I'm not sure. 
I'm not adjusting it. It's definitely adjustable, detachable. Um, it's on the um, shortest, so we'll see what that looks like. So this is the shortest. So it's, you know, above my hip on the shortest. So I have, you know, room to spare if I want it to go a little bit lower, but I like it where it, where it falls. So again, I just wanted to do a real quick video about my... Uh, a bag that I probably should not have purchased. I had no business purchasing it. I went there for a belt and I came home with a bag. And that's my video for tonight. And all my things are falling on the floor. So uh, stay tuned because I do have some other items that I just received. And I did finally get the bag that I wanted to compare to the Long Chomp bag. And this way you guys could help me decide which one I'm going to keep because they're, they're both very similar. So probably going to do that tomorrow. So hopefully you will come back and see my next video. Have a great night. Bye.